Hi everybody, my name is Emily from the Cape May County Library and today I'm going to show you how to do this super easy fall craft um, with just a few supplies. So all you're going to need is some paper, whatever kind you want. I think this kind um, that we have right here is watercolor paper, but it's already cut so I decided to use it. I have some markers to make the branches in the tree area, but you can really use whatever you want. You can paint your tree on, you can cut it out of construction paper, you can really do whatever you like. And then you're definitely going to need some paint. And our stamper today, if you will, is going to be cauliflower. Um, the original craft called for broccoli, but I didn't have any broccoli. So I just went with some of this cauliflower that I found in my fridge. So I put my paint on my little plate and then I found it was useful to have a second plate to kind of stamp off some of the excess so you don't get like giant globs like, like I did here. But I think it still looks pretty decent. So let's get started. I'm gonna move all of this out of the way so I don't make a mess even though it might happen anyway, but that's all right. So to make your branches, you can really do whatever you want. For this one right here, I uh, sketched it out first and then I went in with a marker. For this one, I just kind of doodled it. So whatever you want to do is totally fine. Let's see, let's just sketch a tree. I can't tell which one I like better but it's your project, so you can do whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, I say just go for it. You can also, I saw a couple people do, um, print out their tree, which is also totally fine. It may make things a little bit easier if you're not really into experimenting with art or anything, but I think you should go for it. And it's super fun and yeah just do really whatever you want this one over here I kind of made like pretty rigid so I might try to do a little bit more like tiny branches or something in this one same thing up here we're super excited for fall here in the teen department, so stay tuned for lots of fall videos. Mm. I like how the branches kind of hang low on this one, so you may like that too, or you may be like, no, 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 doesn't matter. that looks all right so I kind of like how this one is with the darker tree branches and tree trunk this one I do like how I did it with the lines but I like um, this color a little bit better so we're gonna go with this color um, that was it. oh well so what I did with this one I kind of wanted to have like some loose points on the edges so I went like this started in the middle and then just kind of drug it outward and then just kind of pulled it off the paper. Oh, I want another one. Just kind of like that. But again, it's totally up to whatever you want to do. Oh, you can also use this um, idea for any sort of season. So. I saw one with uh, cherry blossoms, so that would be using broccoli or cauliflower to stamp like pink and white on your tree instead of the fall colors that I have here. Um, you can also put some snow on it, which would be really cool too for the holiday season. 
could be fun to make Christmas cards or holiday cards or oh if anyone has a birthday around the holidays it could be fun so just gonna go in and add some branches how do we feel about this one Add a couple more. I think it's a little bare in here. I might try to make this one also a little bit more um, bare. Because um, I want to put maybe some more trees down here. I think that would look cool. I do like on this one how we added some leaves at the bottom as if they've already fallen. It's driving me crazy here because it's not symmetrical. Yeah, so it's really whatever you want. I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and erase some of the pencil marks that I've already made. Just because I don't want them to show through if they have a lighter colored paint on them. and then this extra plate and for these ones over here I use this little guy Ooh, already making a mess that's okay and I think this time I'm gonna try this one so I'm just gonna dip it into my paint and I think that broccoli and cauliflower work well because they're so um, textured at the top um, cauliflower is a little bit less textured so you you may want to try this with broccoli too, but we gotta work with what we've got. So you go ahead and just stamp it on however you want, with whatever colors that you want. See the parts that don't have as much paint look a little bit more like um, sparse leaves, and then these more uh, concentrated areas look like there's a bunch of leaves still left on the branches, so you can vary that, or you can do a whole bunch of leaves, or you can do a tiny bit of leaves, or whatever you'd like to do. It's kind of fun. And you don't really need that many supplies, too. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that it may work also with a stamp pad, so if you want to give that a try, maybe if you don't have paint lying around, I say go for it and then let us know how it goes so yeah so I really like um, that when fall leaves have like this purple color on them I'm gonna stamp some of the excess off I think that the fall colors are super beautiful and that purple just really makes everything Feel all warm and like, I don't know. So what I think I'm gonna do with this one is put some, let's go with this yellow. Put some yellow maybe toward the edges. that looks kind of sparse but there's a lot of colors in there I think it looks pretty good now I think I'm gonna just take some of this excess paint over here and dab some leaves at the bottom maybe I'll make like a pile right here and then put a couple around I think 
grab some of this yellow. There you have it. This is our nice fall tree with cauliflower leaves. Um, yeah, so go ahead and make your own. Share it with us if you've done this project. Um, we'd love to see it. And I think that no matter how you do it, it's going to turn out great. So good luck, everybody. And stay tuned for more fall craft videos coming up this season. So see you later.